Welcome back to Darksiders 3, everyone. So after, what, 20, 21 episodes of this game? Um, we had our first crash. Well, you're not going to see it, but there was a crash. Which, the only reason that kind of makes me mad is because... Well, it fucks up the recording. Um, the capture card and all that. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing that happened. Right as I was about to enter the final area. I think the final area... I'm not sure if it's just the final boss or if there is an actual final dungeon. However, I did manage to save the recording of the actual cutscene, the important cutscene that plays. Why did they help me? That's uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seventh. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. Here, take it. A gift from the Lord of Hollows. Deserves to be in stronger hands than mine. You know not what you offer, Horseman. Cannot be serious. It's important. Clearly, I'm not worthy. Don't you want it? This was not meant for me. The Lord of Hollows knew whom he was choosing. His faith will not be questioned. Not by me, anyway. <sighs> what? This milestone should be acknowledged. If you won't do it, I'll do so for you. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. It will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you have to stop Envy and unseat your former masters. So yeah, here we go. This is the crash magnet. Let's do this. Hopefully this shit ain't gonna happen again, because if it does, then we are gonna have a real problem. Uh, I think we're good. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Alright, cool. Well, so yeah, I managed to salvage the cutscene, which I'm probably already edited in here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the thing that happened. Pretty good cutscene. I kind of enjoy the story of this game, but... Yeah. It's kind of a little bit more toned down than Darksiders 1. Like, 2, especially more toned down than 2. <laughs> These guys are so ridiculous. They look like fucking Bionicle. Oh, she's like a combination of all the sins. And like us as well, right? Because she has wars, a sword, the two guns. Doesn't look like she has a whip. Is that all they do? Throw fireballs? I like the one on the right. The thin one. Crazy that this is envy. Is that all these guys can do? It looks like that's all they can do. Oh shit. She still reminds me of Kerrigan a lot. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh shit, everyone's on fire. Sort of roasting each other. Low quality sword. The model didn't load, I think. Oh shit, look at those heels. Yeah, she's kind of she kind of looks like us. No, but it was worth a shot. All right, cool. Final boss. Oh. I forgot how to dodge for a second. I forgot which game I was playing. Yeah, don't go for the She deals a lot of damage. Okay, I was gonna say she's gonna do some AoE attack. Please don't tell me I have to go through this little portal every single time, because that would be a right motherfucker waiting for two load screens. It didn't do it during the uh, pride fight, so I'm hoping they have the decency, you know, to let us just continue. Yeah, I, I legit forgot how to dodge in this game for a second. I was trying to do R2. What is it? I'm not playing Fortnite. Which, I'm gonna be pl playing Fortnite after this. Because Season 8 is out. And it looks okay. I mean... Oh, two load screens, seriously? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a motherfucker of a thing to do. It's gonna be so much loading. Oh well, what can we do? What can we do but sit through it? Jeez, five minutes already? Yeah, I'm gonna... If this is the final boss, which I think it is, I am going to try my best to finish this game. Uh, yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, thank you for giving such a reactable attack at the start. How did that hit me? Oh, come on. I'm trying to dodge that. I can't dodge her now. Alright, perfect dodge, at least. Oh, shit. Is that what she's gonna do? Oh, come on. I'm trying to dodge back, but... It ain't working for some reason. Okay. Finally. Oh shit, how difficult is that to dodge? Oh, it comes back. Okay. I don't know if I should be wasting this many heals. It's a bad version of the counter to get. Okay. Because... I feel like it's way less useful. Oh, is that what we're going for? Shit. Okay, I'm uh, completely out of heals. Yes, this is what I'm gonna do now. Okay, how about just taking no damage? She seems to be doing. Oh, that has an AoE. Oh, god damn it. Honestly, I really wanted to just get this fight over with because of the double load times. Oh well, I can cut these out, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting to the point where I'm a little bit frustrated by this game. You can see by the monumental fuck-ups at the start uh, with the controls. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. So 
So yeah, uh, the reason I'm getting frustrated is twofold. The first issue... The first issue is that there's about a minute and a half of load times you have to sit through every time you die to this boss. The second thing that frustrates me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, is the fact that the game has at this point crashed four fucking times for me. And I would say that as far as technical performance goes, uh, four crashes probably goes past fucking finally the amount of acceptable crashes at the final boss. See, why couldn't I do that? Makes it much easier. Everybody runs to rule the world. They do indeed. It's a good song though. Perfect drunk karaoke song, I think. Damn, she's crazy. Oh shit. Ouch. That has to hurt. Eat shit, MV. Man, this final boss was actually pretty tough. Probably ex exasperated by the fact that, well, the technical performance really kind of dropped the ball here in the finale here. I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end, end credits. Kind of my overall thoughts. Let's just enjoy this cutscene. As we absorb Envy into our very own talisman, I think. Let's compress this bitch right up. Like a fucking... Uh, the trap from Ghostbusters. Oh, really? I like the screen shake when they talk. Oh, it's because it's made from the Lord of Hollows. No. <laughs> no. I don't think it was made for you. Besides, feel pretty good. Such arrogance. Such gall. No, that would be pride. This is truth. And the truth is, this can destroy you. You'll never find out, wretch. Oh, yeah. Let's kill these motherfuckers. Wait, but we can kill them, can we? Because this takes place before Darksiders 1. And they are alive in Darksiders 1, aren't they? I actually know they could be dead. Wait, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to replay Darksiders 1, the remaster. Not on the channel, just on my own. Because we straight up murked them, didn't we? just now but they are alive at the start of Darksiders 1 I don't remember if they just like throw us onto earth in that game or if there's like a cutscene but yeah th there must be something I don't know it's weird it's weird I have to look into the lore there Vati there's no Darksiders Vati so can't exactly do that alright let's see what else happens Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> these demons are kind of funny. Oh, they're just enraged. If you have a plan for them. We just have the main means to destroy them, I think. For the inevitable fourth game. Heaven, hell, the Chard Council. They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. Hey, Book of Eli guy. Did the guy in Book of Eli have a name? I don't think so. I'm sure there's more people than this. No. You must hide. For the eyes of heaven and hell. The council. That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Are we going to be the protector? Said protector? Oh shit! That's the destroyer. That guy is cool from Darksiders 1, final boss. Cool thing about him is he looks like a generic ass fire dra dragon, but he has a twist to him. Which, well, you can watch my Darksiders 1 series if you want to find out what that is. I don't know why this is reminding me of uh, World of Warcraft, or just Warcraft, when, you know, the demons charge the world tree in the last campaign. It's been a hot while since I've played that game, Warcraft 3. A new Book of Eli is going to step into action. That's kind of cool. <laughs> These makers are hilarious. They're supposed to be like incredibly powerful, aren't they? That's their deal. We've become quite chummy, the two of us. My brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Of course he will. He'll make us some guns. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, Horseman.
Oh shit, is that... Strife. He's the coolest looking one by far. Please make a fourth game happen. This is actually kind of a cool cutscene to close things off. So Strife was hiding all alone. Or all along among us. That's pretty cool. Again, kind of really want the fourth game to happen. Just to tie the whole thing together. Um, originally, I think the plan was to have five games. Like four with each horseman or one for each horseman and then the fifth one to kind of tie it all together but I don't know if that's gonna happen to be honest I don't know if a fourth one is gonna happen uh, if this game has sold enough copies for gunfire games or THQ or whoever decides it to make a final one I again just for the sake of closing the story because it would be a real shame if we never got a proper ending that would be Real nice. Plus, Strife looks fun to play. Like, not even just shooting, but have some type of like gun fu type of fighting. That would be really cool. But let's get down to business. What do I think of this game? I am not going to lie. This whole ending fiasco. If I had to rate this game out of a ten, probably dropped my rating by at least half a point. I would give this game a 7, well, I would have given this game a 7 easily before, however, uh, with this whole fiasco, literally 4 straight up crashes, and the really messy way of setting this up, where if you die, you wait for a load time, and to get to the boss, you have to wait through a load time, leading to at least 1.5 minutes of loading each time you die to a boss, that can kill you in four to five hits. I think just in terms of game design, that is an oversight. I don't know why they can have just spawned you in like some little, I don't know, hallway or little platform off of the Envy boss fight. That would have just made things a whole lot easier, just like they did with Pride. I don't know why they can just do that. Uh, because it would have made the whole thing a lot more smooth, I would say, instead of just loading. I mean, currently I'm at 53 minutes of recording. And this video is probably going to be like 20 minutes long. <laughs> because just the sheer amount of load times and failed attempts I have to cut out. So it's a little bit frustrating. I think this whole, you know, end was messily done. Not the end cutscene, but the final boss fight. But still, 6.5 doesn't mean I hate the game. You know, people tend to forget that 6.5, like 6, anything above 5 is a good score. I would recommend this game. However, I would recommend it with a word of caution. I mean, you saw me play it. You saw what this game is like probably in the 22 or 21 episodes of me playing it you got an idea of what this game is about. It's a Dark Souls clone with Darksiders. If you like Darksiders story, the visuals and all that, you will probably enjoy this game. If you like Souls games, you will probably enjoy this game. I think the combat is fun, the environments are fun, just like the old Darksiders games. Uh, that All of that is really good. However, where this game, of course, falters, is in the fact that it's really obvious that this is a budget game. There's no other way to call it. It's a budget game. Not an indie game, but also not a full AAA experience. Somewhere falling somewhere in between. Uh, there are some technical issues with the load times, the crashes. I have read online that people have way, way more crashes than I have ever had with this game. These four crashes here at the final boss are the only ones I've had. For some people, this game crashes constantly. I think there have been a couple of patches to improve that. But still, that I would say is the bigger oversight. The load times are long. Sometimes there's way too many of them. And probably I would have to mention the couple of gameplay oversights, especially the really frustrating aspect of not being able to refill your... Uh, healing items at checkpoints yeah it's, it's just a thing again 
based on what you saw, you have to decide whether this game is something that is worth your time or not. I would say pick it up when it goes on sale if you're not sure. Try it because, hey, who knows, you might enjoy it. I, again, I certainly did enjoy it. Nothing. Oh, I see some Hungarian names. That's pretty cool. Actually, quite a few of them. Shout out, shout out. All right. Yeah, that kind of threw me. Where was I? Yeah, I'm gonna kind of sit through this because if I'm right, based on all the other games, uh, there's gonna be some secret cutscene at the end. Still, really hope a fourth one happens some way, just to tie everything together. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up here from me. There's still gonna be the super secret cutscene if it does happen. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the support. Oh, I think I timed it perfectly. I managed to babble on long enough. Yep. Oh, someone's pissed at She's always getting yelled at. Final seal will be broken, and I will revel in the chaos. You may go. They didn't have budget for a voice actor for her. She talked in the other ones, if I remember correctly. Still, just to conclude, hope a fourth one happens. Thanks for watching, thanks for the comments, thanks for the likes. And yeah, hope to see you on whatever I do next. Peace out, guys.